And welcome to the Golf Spotlight. Ralph Irvin here, and we're talking balls and clubs. That means we've got to be talking to a pretty good manufacturer, and in this case, we definitely are. That's Rick's on. We're joined by Mike Pye. Mike, thanks for taking the time to join me. Thanks, Ralph. Let's start with talking about balls, because you have two tour premium balls out of the market, getting play, especially from guys like Jim Furyk out there, who has success on the tour. Absolutely. We've got two balls. One is the ZURS and the ZURC. They're our multi-layer, uh, three-piece urethane products. They, uh, the, the, the unique features about them is that they both feature a similar cover material that's 20 thousandths of an inch thick. And at 20 thousandths of an inch, that's about the width of five sheets of copier paper. Um, when you have a cover that thin, what that allows you to do is to put a bigger core, bigger mantle layer inside the golf ball. That's what drives distance. That's where all your ball speed comes from. So the bigger the core that you can put in it, the, the, the faster, the more resilient the golf ball is going to be, the more ball speed and ultimately the more distance. But because the covers are so, so thin and they're also the softest covers that we've measured of any of the competitors, they will react very well around the greens for players that need spin and workability and control. Now, of course, not everyone needs a tour ball or is looking for a tour ball, and you still have a great three-piece ball available for those players. That's right. We have a ball called the Tri-Speed. It's a multi-layer three-piece ball. It has a Ravalon uh, blended ionomer cover and a Ravalon blended uh, mid-layer. Ravalon is a, is a substance that is very resilient that we add to the ionomer to increase the resilience overall of the cover so we get more ball speed. It's a low compression product. It's probably, in the, it's not probably, it is in the 60s in compression. Uh, and because it's so soft, it has the ability, it, it, it will appeal to more and more, uh, a wider range of players. So if you want a multi-layer product, you want good distance, uh, and, you want to, and, and, and you want it to appeal to a, wa- a wide range of golfers and swing speeds, the tri speeds the ball for you. Now, of course, people are very familiar with Strixon as a ball manufacturer, but you also are making clubs, and, of course, everybody, when you talk about clubs, they want to talk driver. So let's talk about the Strixon driver. It's long, isn't it? It's very, it's, it's very long, and it's very long, but what it also is, it's very playable and it's very forgiving. There's a couple of things with the ZRW uh, that I think are unique and important to note. First, there's actually four different zones, high toe, low toe, high heel, low heel. Uh, and what that allows us to do is, depending on you know the dynamics of impact in each of those zones, the ball is going to spin a little bit differently. What we're trying to do is to bring that back to center with that design. The other thing is behind the uh, the club face, uh, you have a starburst sort of looking. We call it the starburst power face. It's a starburst looking uh, 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 club face design, which uh, allows us to uh, keep the deformation of the club face more uniform. And spread it out more across the face, of, more evenly across the face of the club. That also helps us uh, maintain um, uh, accuracy and forgiveness and control spin. And then finally, there's a, a, a weight, a, a red weight that moves around the club face, or I'm sorry, around the bottom of the club head, depending on the loft. In the lower lofted clubs, it's more towards the center. The weight moves more towards the center. The higher lofted clubs, the weight moves more towards the heel. And in the heel, for the higher lofted clubs, generally favored by slower swingers allows them to square the club face a little bit easier. Heaven forbid they actually are able to hit a draw with that. Uh, but it's not just about drivers, it's also about irons as well as uh, fairway metals. Yeah, absolutely. Um, in terms of fairway metals, uh, we have a, 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 a fairway wood, wood called the Z-Steel. And if you just look at it, it is a very classic looking fairway wood. It, the, the face depth profile is not necessarily too shallow, it's not necessarily too deep. Uh, if you look at some of the, 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 the fairway woods from some of the other companies, they're as much as 230, 225, 230 cc's. That's bigger than the original Big Bertha. And for a lot of people, they, just looking at that visually doesn't give them the confidence to get the ball up off the deck. We feel with, with the, 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 uh, 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 the, the head shape and the size of our Z Steel that that's not as much of an issue as it is with some of the other companies. But it's made with a miraging steel face, which allows us to keep the face very thin, which allows us to increase um, the COR of the, uh, of the fairway wood. So it's, they're long, they're hot, they look great, they look like they, it gives you confidence that you can get it up off the deck. And talking about getting it up off the deck and having confidence, that's definitely what you have here when you're talking about the cavity back 701. Right. The, the I-701, it's a, it's a traditional-looking uh, club head that has a lot of uh, performance and, and technology built in. It has an undercut channel that spreads more of the, uh, of the weight around the perimeter, so it's very forgiving. When you line it up in the playing position, it's a progressive offset. The, the top line isn't too thin. It's also not too thick. And it's a club head that 
though it's forged, though it looks very traditional, can still uh, you know appeal to the low as well as the mid handicapper. In fact, Brian Davis and Henrik Stenson, two of our uh, our, our tour members, are actually playing uh, the the regular uh, 701. We have some players in a mixed set. We actually have a, a 701 tour iron, which is a very uh, it's, uh, it's a much smaller club head, very, uh, it's a tour inspired cavity back, uh, and they're making match sets with the 701 and the 701 tour. But this is a great club for a very, very wide range of golfers. And Mike, if people want more information on the balls, on the clubs, it, they just go to SwerkSound.com. Absolutely. That's where you'll find everything. All right, Mike, thanks for taking the time to join me. All right, Rob, thanks very much. Appreciate it. I want to thank Mike Pye for joining us here on the Golf Spotlight. Join us next week as we continue to bring you the information you need for your next golf purchase. We'll see you then.